Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. Good Friday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. Um, wow, been a long week. A lot of things happening in the world, um, you know, um, mostly bad, a few good things. But anyway, weekend ready. This is our last uh, last day of the week for the Coffee with Craig show. We uh, put out the short list for the SCE Real Estate Awards uh, yesterday and a lot of, lot of great nominations, a lot of great companies involved. I can see we're almost sold out for this as well. So it looks like a very interesting, uh, interesting event. So please let us know uh, if you wanna be involved. It's um, 31st of March in uh, at the Radisson Hotel in uh, Bucharest. A lot of exciting companies coming. So um, and people that, and a lot of the international people that just have not been around for a couple of years. So it'll be good to see everyone back together. Also today we're going to print with the real estate guide. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. yeah busy yeah, busy yeah. putting that to bed. Busy day. I looked at we looked at looked at the cover just now. Looks great. It's very exciting things going on in that. So. Uh, We'll have the real estate guide ready for MIPIN um, next week. So uh, we're going out on Sunday, putting together the stand. And please come by. We'll definitely we'll have some uh, wine. We're doing some great wine tasting Tuesday, Wednesday at 3 o'clock. Our stand is P-1 G66 at 3. So we're G66. So come by at 3 o'clock Tuesday, Wednesday, wine tasting we got some great French wines, uh, reds to try out, and a great opportunity to, to mix and, and meet everybody. Um, so we'll hopefully to see everybody at MIPIN next week, or, or actually week after, um, 14th, 15th, uh, 16th. Uh, so a lot going on there. Uh, well done on the magazine. Looks great, Winston. So uh, good to see. Thanks. And um, I know the team's been working hard on that. And having said that, we'll take a little break. We'll come right back with the news in 20 seconds. Welcome to the 17th Annual Europa Property Southeastern European Real Estate Awards and SCE Forum held March 31st at the SAS Radisson Blue in Bucharest, Romania. With the most active international, regional, and local investors, developers, and property owners attending, this event continues to be the single most important in the region. The deadline for nominations is February 24th, and with seating limited and the Radisson Ballroom quickly filling up, now is the time to reserve your sponsorship package or corporate table. So welcome back, um, and uh, we're here with Winston Norman, our editor-in-chief, as we are every day from uh, europaproperty.com with the highlights of uh, last day of the week, Friday news. Yeah, thanks, Craig. And uh, from the Europropoly.com website today, we've got a S S IMO has completed the sale of its IMO finance shares, mm. and it puts now it's going to put its focus on 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 its core business. Mm, okay. And it's it's sold its twelve point six point nine percent stake in IMO finance, mm -hmm. and it's generated proceeds from the sale and cash inflow of more than four hundred million euros, and uh, the equity investment. Thus generated a total return, including dividends, of around Euro 81 million over wow. the entire investment period. Mm -hmm. And uh, this follows uh, SMO's uh, disposal of its shares in CMO in mm -hmm. 2021. Mm -hmm. And as a result, the company now fully concentrates on its core business of letting and, uh, and managing profitable properties in Germany, Austria, and Central and Eastern Europe, as well as uh, uh, acquiring properties with high potential for value growth. Uh, and they've got some interesting uh, properties in the pipeline. Mm, excellent, excellent. Well, they're, they're, I know they're also doing a lot in Romania because they're usually our spo sponsoring and supporting our event there. Yeah, they're, they're big in uh, Southeastern Europe, in Romania, Croatia. Mm. Well, it sounds like they did pretty well on this investment as well. Yeah, there's a lot of news swirling around about IMA Finance and uh, this is one part that's finished, gone. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. uh, there'll be more news to follow, I would imagine. Excellent. Uh, moving to Austria, and uh, CTP has recently entered the Austrian market, and they're going to launch their first uh, project there, which is a 12,000 square meter Briam Outstanding Sustainability Certified Warehouse. Mm -hmm. And this facility will be called CT Park Vienna East. And uh, its first tenant will be uh, the uh, motor company Toyota Logistics Services Austria. And they're hoping to be in there by December 2022. And uh, this is going to be a distribution arm for the Japanese 
uh, auto giant mm -hmm. and uh, it's a very good location because Austria, as you know, is an industrial hub for the region. And not a bad place to live as well, right? Very nice cities and Vienna. Yeah, and when, when this park is uh, completed, mm -hmm. it'll be, be 52,000 square meters of um, industrial park. Mm -hmm. well, big place. Yep. And uh, moving to Romania, and Afi has, has uh, received uh, a well certification, well and health certification for its whole portfolio in Romania, which mm -hmm. comprises of seven projects. And uh, they're in Bucharest, Brasov, and Timisosara. And uh, according to Emma Toma, mm -hmm. she, she says this is, uh, this is uh, really good for them because um, with lots of employees returning to the, to the offices, having this well health and safety certification in this post-coronavirus uh, coronavirus period mm -hmm. is really important for them today. Right. And it just shows they actually care about the tenants and people coming in there to work every day as well. Yeah, I mean, the sector demands mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. Craig, you know, mm -hmm. so uh, if you haven't got it, then, you know, you're giving your competition extra advantage. Good reason for tenants to move to where there is a wellness certificate. Yeah, exactly. And uh, finally, for today, uh, some news from Nineva, the uh, outlet center mm -hmm. operator and developer, and they've appointed a new uh, retail director, and that's uh, Francisco Gutierrez. And uh, he's going to report directly to uh, Johan Ruas, the group's uh, leasing retail director. Mm -hmm. And in his new role, he'll be responsible for both implementing uh, the portfolio, which is 20 properties uh, under management and development in Spain, Italy, France, Poland, Germany, and the Netherlands. And he's going to be overseeing the company's relationship with more than 600 brands that operate in those centers. So he's got, got his work cut out for him. Big job. Like. Big job. Big there, job. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Well, thank you for every thank you for watching our show today. Uh, we have over eight thousand viewers a week and over fourteen thousand on our uh, on our interviews with the CEOs that we do. Um, so great, thank you for supporting us there. Also, if you uh, want to help out in some ways for the uh, um, Ukrainian refugees coming, they're not only Ukrainian, but because of this Ukrainian Russian war. Um, Oh, what is it called now? Russian-Ukrainian War. I'm not sure which one, but uh, anyway, lots of refugees here. They need places to stay. Uh, if you would like to help out and you have a place to stay, you'll see uh, the contact Preston Smith, who will be written on the, the text of this and, and highlighted. And he'll, if you've got a room or a couple rooms or um, can take in some people, he's always looking for new places because he's got lots of people coming in and out every day. I read one of his texts today. It sounds like there are no slowdown there, a lot more on the way. So yeah. uh, if you've got uh, a place in Warsaw or even a little bit out of Warsaw and, um, you know, you can take on a few extra people, let us let him know directly because um, he'll definitely be able to uh, to use your help there. And having said that, anyway, have an, a great weekend. We will see you all on Monday and stay safe and stay healthy. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show and don't forget to share it with your friends.